So we played this game with Mike Alexander, and today we're gonna we're gonna do a little political slant, so that uh, we can look at a few election uh, themed dashboards, political themed dashboards. Not all from the current election. We are in the middle of an election season here, uh, but we are gonna look at some dashboards from previous election cycles. And I'd like to get some feedback from the panel as far as do you think it's a good dashboard? Uh, is it, you know, what would you do to change, if anything, what would you do to change the layout, anything about these particular dashboards? So, armed with this knowledge, <laughs> welcome to the 2016 political edition of Dashboard Rescue. All right, first up, oh, 2008. Who remembers 2008? That was so much fun. Uh, so, apparently, enterprisedashboard.com. Uh, put this together, and I, I thought it was, <laughs> well, it has some image problems first off the bat, but um, I'd like to get your thoughts on uh, thermometers and whatever those little upside down triangle things are called. What would you call those, Jordan? Those little slider Ups things? Oh, I mean, uh, pointers? <laughs> pointers? I'm sure they maybe. have a real name. But just in yeah, general, wrong. what are your feelings about this? As a dashboard, uh, apparently comparing um, the you know the campaign financing of the two major political parties in the 2008 presidential election. Um, do you think this is informative? Yeah. Or is, it, is it just too hideous to discuss? When I first when I first look at it, I think you know I, I, my eyes go directly to the thermometers, and I think that Obama is beating Biden, <laughs> and that McCain okay. is beating uh, yeah. the, her, his lady friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> And it doesn't really give you a good way of comparing the receipts and disbursements, I guess, the two no. parties. It's kind of definitely yeah, not kind of kind of awkward. And this yep. comes from a website called EnterpriseDashboard.com. No offense to you guys, but uh, maybe maybe someone here on our panel could help you out. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Before you go on from this one, I just want to point something yeah. out. Um, so. Uh, Remember, like, Michael Alexander had said that he had noticed a lot of dashboard styling changing. So in 2008, this was just starting out, and there really, I don't think that there was a whole lot of best practices. I know Stephen Few was around, but he wasn't as popular. But I don't even think this type of dashboard would fly today, just because so many more people are aware of, uh, you know, how things are turned on their side here. I'm, like, pointing at the screen. You can't even see that. Uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to read. You have this thing on, under Obama. It says beginning cash, and then it has an ending cash. Ostensibly, these should be on the same line. Also, it's not clear what the endpoints are on those. Right. It, it, you know, I had the same thought that I thought it looked very old-fashioned, and um, yet 2008 seems not that long ago. Like, this, this to me looks like 1990s. <laughs> but um, anyway, all right. What do you think, Brad? Brad. Yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking the same thing, guys. I think, uh, you know, the thermometer thing, or the, uh, not the thermometer, but the speedometer, I was never really a big advocate of yeah. the speedometer, and it doesn't, you know, you get one data point. I don't even know what it's trying to say there, really. Right. Uh, and then, you know what, your eyes just go everywhere. So I don't even know which way to turn my eyes. One going, One's going left, one's going right. At the same time, I look cross-eyed. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's about all I have to say about so I gotta, that. I got to tell you, I, I, I disagree. I was, I, I, I went, I was... I was speedometer for a long time. I was like the last guy at high school wearing parachute pants. I mean, I was I was I was, I was, I was thermometers for a long time. <laughs> I had to be told that it was bad. <laughs> so, and, and I and I and I love that. I love this on the left hand, the right hand side at the very bottom. It says powered by dashboard. So they want to make sure that no, you can't crop them out. That's right. So they're they're proud of this. This is this is this is, this is great stuff. <laughs> all right, so enough of the old school. Uh, so I think we all agree it just looks a little old-fashioned. But even okay, forgetting the old-fashioned you know look and feel of this thing, um, if we gave it a modern make makeover, we still probably wouldn't be big fans of the thermometer and or the speedometer thing. Is that uh, yeah, I, I, I would think agreement on that. I would agree. I would think even even something like. You know, let me, uh, let me sure we're looking at it. So it, even stuff like the beginning cash and the ending cash, you know, the, the way it is right now, you can't really compare one party right. versus the other party to understand. So even those on like a similar axis of of some way would even be a, somewhat of an improvement. You know, just some way to be able to compare those side by side to see comparatively what's happening would be a drastic improvement, I think. 
Yeah, with a speedometer overlay, I think would look really nice. Yeah, definitely the okay. definitely the speedometer. Have that in the background. It makes yeah. sure everybody sees it. And the it power power by speedometer. Power power by Brad Edgar. You know. Yeah. That'd be great. Awesome. Okay, are we ready for our next next dashboard? Next up, okay, HuffPo. So HuffPo attempted to put together uh, different ways of visualizing voter sentiment. So what do we think about visualizing voter sentiment? Is this, is this too much information on one? And this, by the way, was from the 2010 um, race, gubernatorial, as it were. Uh, is this too much on one page? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I, I think what's interesting is um, just if you consider the last dashboard, how much the design has changed. How so? Yeah. Like I was saying before, we were less interested. I don't know. You know, obviously, I haven't done the research on this, but it does feel like now we're getting into the white space, uh, mm -hmm. like, like a lot bigger design. I don't. I don't really think this one is that bad. Yeah, I happen to think it's pretty pretty all right. Yeah, if you go over to 538.com today, yep. that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. exactly. Yeah, so white space, so at least for the last several years, has been kind of a trend, and I think it still looks pretty good. What does our Canadian think of this yeah. one? Yeah, I think, you know what, it's, it's, there's definitely still a lot of information on here, but I think the thing is, is with these types of things, as long as you have that white space, you can understand what's happening. I think as soon as you kind of review it all, you'll understand what sections you want uh, to go to and which ones are more important to you, I think, right? So if you're looking at something like this, that white space definitely helps. And then there is the, you know, you got your legend on on the color schemes and stuff like that above the above the wonderful United States map there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Have you built anything like this in uh, Excel with your Power Query backend? Yeah. I don't do. To tell you the truth, I don't do a lot of geo mapping at all. You but, know. Uh, I really enjoy things like that give me just a strict number. So the information in, on the latest polls in the top right, I appreciate mm -hmm. that. To me, that's you know those are those are big numbers, obviously. So, and then I think as long as you can kind of indicate you know where something is in the red or in the green, and it's giving you that information to act on or not act on, that makes me happy. <laughs> I'm with you, Brad. Good good points. All right. Um, let's see what else do we have in here. Jordan, Rick, you guys ready? Okay, very similar. Um, Jordan, where's your? <laughs> have you updated your rollover spreadsheet to to do something for this um, current election? This one, I, I think, is a really nice one. I've not. Uh, I've not updated that rollover spreadsheet since oh, 2010. Um, but this one, this one, I really like. This is obviously New York Times. Yep. Five thirty. Uh, <laughs> they know. They know what they're doing. Yeah, I really like this one. Good color scheme, good use of white space. You can tell right immediately, as Brad was saying, I really like doing that too, putting the most important information in the top, specifically top left. You can tell yeah. right immediately what's going on. I kind of like that it doesn't try to do too much in the previous one. It, it looks nice, but it's also a lot to take in, um, whereas this really, I think, kind of just drives you straight to the point. Um, which I'm a big fan of, you know, and if you want more information, scroll down or, or drill down, as it were. Um, so I kind of like this approach and few colors. Looks pretty good. Could could you, in theory, do something? I haven't played much with Power Map. Is it still called Power Map? Could, could one, in theory, do something like this? Because the last time I played with it, it wasn't... It, it didn't... It wasn't um, aesthetically... I didn't find it that easy. <laughs> to make it look this nice, but... I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't played with it at all, Jordan. You may have, but I have played with the um, the Bing. There's like a Bing app, like mm -hmm. that attachment app that just kind of did targeted sales, like if you had, which was not, I don't know, it was okay too, but I, I haven't played with uh, the Power Map too much, so it might be something I need to start looking at, though, but... I haven't done Excellent, any power map. I'll be calling you when you do. Uh, <laughs> I've I've done some power map. I don't really know if it goes to the county level. I don't. I I honestly don't know that. I mean, I've done some geo stuff. Uh, we we used it. We we like at work. We like power map more than we like Tableau. Uh, but mm -hmm. generally, generally, really? uh, yeah, just the the mapping in power map is better than Tableau. My my uh, opinion. 
Aren't you also the person, Jordan, that thought Power View, or sorry, the Power Map was just a complete waste? <laughs> and, and parts of it still are. Parts of it still are. I thought the three D, the three D uh, column charts extending from the Earth, like uh, like spikes. Yeah, I thought oh. that was a little. I disagree. I think that's the way God meant it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can make tours where you fly through them, like uh, like absolutely. Your that's that yeah. was ridiculous. So three D, and we thought we were done with three D. Well, we'll never be done. Nay. All right. Okay. So here's. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So. That is awesome. To... That's my favorite. That's my favorite dash. I'm gonna bring that one. Bring that one to work. Oh, I kind of like it, uh, but the question is, is it okay to get cartoony? So I'm gonna. I have to open this up in the browser. Hopefully, it will. Um, just give me a minute here to set up the screen because this is the static view. You know, if my kids. Static. <laughs> but I guess the question here is, is it okay? Okay, so here's the actual live view. So is it okay to get cartoony? So I guess you can press play and then they sort of... <laughs> I mean, is it... <laughs> Heck yeah, it's okay. You know, if my, kid, <laughs> if my kid brought that home, it goes straight on the fridge. <laughs> so, you know, it takes you through, you know, where they're at in the race, I guess. I guess it's as of today, because it says happening now March 15th. And, of course, they have one for, well, actually, it's not that up to date, because we still have, no, it is. They're all still in. You know, I, all I, four I'm of the clown like cars. It. So the, the question, <laughs> all right, so that's enough of that. But the question is, um, is it okay to be cartoony like this? So I'm not certain that I'm any smarter for having seen that. <laughs> I'm not certain that I have any more wisdom or knowledge, but, but I would pay three dollars to see it again. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm gonna say no on the cartoons. I think it's no good, like cartoons. for doing stuff like this in Excel. I think it's good for exercises. Like I know Chandu does a lot of stuff that may not be production. Well, I, you know, it's funny how many people look at that and they go, "I'm gonna put that in my dashboard," even though he says it's not the best way to visualize. <laughs> but I think. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, it's good to learn how to do this stuff, but I would not want that. Um, you would not. You would not. I do like it. the animation stuff, though. I like this the idea that's now very now more common, where you can like animate a time series, or you animate the movement of things over time, the Gapminder style. Yeah. And yeah, like you, so you haven't done anything like this in Excel, is what you're saying? Not for clients. I mean, for myself. Because that's, that's what you do for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, how about you? Have you, uh, you know, done anything you know, with animations in Excel? I, ha I haven't really played with animations too much, but I think this one is, uh, it's funny because you're actually getting an idea, like it's giving you decent information, right? I mean, if you, right. if you, it's true. If you watch it through, you kind of know where that person is at a point in time. Uh, is it appropriate? Maybe in certain places, for sure. Um, in a bit. It could be. It depends on what, who your boss is. Absolutely. <laughs> it's all about the audience, right? And while I don't think this is, should, this should never be the entire solution. Hey, if it gets people interested in exploring further and wanting to dig deeper, great. You know, then I've then I've accomplished something. So I don't see anything wrong with it, as long as it's not the only thing, right? In agreement. Okay. Uh, but what do we think of this as a uh, just as a, a as a dashboard? Do you like this kind of um, snapshot as a? It's obviously an outdated. One, but what do we think about CNN's approach to showing total delegates by candidate? Do we like these little sliders, or do we think they're equally as um, terrible as those 2008 sliders? So these ones they're look different. When I complained about the CNN uh, uh, <laughs> dashboard, I don't, this one is, I think they may have updated a little bit, so this is not as bad as <laughs> They heard. They heard you were complaining. That, that's right. <laughs> I don't think... Um, you know, the thing is, like, there's nothing wrong with how they're showing this. It could be bar charts. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of think for space, they could have just put all of them on one line and said, here's where this person is, here, here's where that person is. But uh, I don't dis I don't think it's the worst-looking thing I've seen. Right. Doesn't definitely seem, seem worse. All right. Uh, thank you, CNN, for listening to Jordan's. And more importantly, what does Canada think? And can we that. borrow him, depending on the outcome of the next election? Trade him for Trump. Can we trade? Can we do a little, like, Brad, that looks, that looks like you with hair right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. And this, 
if I had hair like that, I'd be I'd be very happy, and I don't know if my wife would be happier or not. So, yeah, he's a All heartthrob. Right. Well, that was my little. Who is that? Who yeah. Was that? Yeah. You could call the last so... prime minister, and you still wouldn't know, Jordan. Oh, that was a, that was your prime minister. That's the prime minister oh of Canada. God. Like, wow. How, yeah. That yeah. Is the, when, that's when the that opposite. That happen, from, right. Okay. Looks like the centerfold of like Tiger Beat magazine or something. I love it. Throw back to. Wow. That's how we represent here in Canada. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. 